Hey there, welcome back. Josh Hardy here with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. I'm with my LT35 wood miser and uh, I've been having some starting problems with it. So uh, I want to talk through kind of the troubleshooting that I've, I've done to, uh, to resolve the issue. We do have it uh, up and running now. It works great. Uh, but I just want to walk through uh, what I learned from this experience. So to begin with, I'm not a uh, small engine repair mechanic at all. I've had some luck with uh, taking carburetors apart, cleaning the, uh, the bad gas out. Uh, I've got a great video of the, the uh, county line log splitter uh, that's done quite well. But in general, this is not my thing. Small engine repair, but you know, anyway, I'm not afraid to take things apart and try them out. And basically, uh, you know, what was happening here, as you could hear at the beginning, is uh, it just wasn't turning over. And so I uh, basically went through the big three, air, spark, and fuel. So the first thing that I did was I took the air filter off and uh, blew that out with compressed air. And so the air filter was fine. Tried to start it with the air filter off. Still, same result, nothing. Everything sounded like it was turning over fine, like it wasn't, uh, uh, it just wasn't getting the gas uh, and, and igniting. So I have a uh, inline spark tester, which I'll put a, a link to it in the description. One of the best investments I've had in uh, the quick kind of troubleshooting. So I was able to put it in line. There's two spark plugs on this uh, Kohler Command Pro 25 horsepower motor. And I was able to put it in on one side, turn the ignition and I could see the spark. So everything was good. Tried the other side, everything was good. So I'm getting air, no problem. I'm getting spark, no problem. Now I need to check the fuel. So uh, in checking the fuel, my first observation was it didn't look like there was much fuel in the fuel filter. Um, but not being a mechanic, I wasn't quite sure what to expect and if I should be seeing fuel in there or not. Uh, spoil alert, you should be able to see that thing full of fuel all the way up to the filter. I was not seeing that. So my next step was to start to troubleshoot the fuel system. And uh, I took a few things apart, took apart the fuel pump to see, you know, was I getting fuel through there? Wasn't getting fuel. But again, not knowing enough about small engine repair, I didn't resolve that that was the, the issue. I just knew I wasn't getting gas. So I started doing research online. I found a lot of uh, references to the Kohler Command Pro 25 horsepower motor, but every example that I saw was a uh, riding lawnmower and the orientation appeared to be different to me, so I wasn't uh, quite sure. But in most of those cases, what was being said was uh, there is a uh, fuel solenoid and that solenoid sticks. So um, I wasn't sure that I wanted to tackle trying to take that out, although I had kind of seen how it would work, how it worked in those videos. Um, so I changed my gas. That was another uh, thing that I tried. I drained all my gas out, put in fresh gas, made sure I put stable in it this time and, and try it again and still no luck. And one of the things that, that I've read is make sure that you don't try to start for longer than 10 seconds and then wait, you know, 10 seconds in between so you don't burn up your starter. I think that was actually in the Woodmiser manual. And I didn't see any, any troubleshooting in the manual that, that helped solve my issue either. Um, so New gas, spark plugs work, I got air, but it seems like I'm not getting fuel to the carburetor, which I wasn't. So I sprayed some starter fluid in the uh, carburetor and it did crank for a few seconds and died, basically burn up that. And I know what I've read and what I've heard is you're not supposed to do that very often. It can be very bad for your motor, so I didn't try it, uh, but you know, a couple times. And um, still wasn't getting, getting resolution. So I went home and uh, I contacted Woodmiser. They were great. They said, hey, you know, usually the, the main issue is this fuel solenoid. So, okay, I've read about that. In fact, I've only found one instance related to the LT35 Woodmiser and this fuel solenoid, and that was on the forestry forum. The guy had some pictures. Uh, it was pretty helpful. I'll, I'll show uh, an example of that here. But again, um, I wasn't sure that was my issue. I mean, this thing's not very old. I just got it earlier this year. 
and I had let it sit for 45 to 60 days, but still wouldn't expect the gas to be that bad or, or this to happen. So here I am now not getting gas. Today I came out here earlier and I took the fuel solenoid out, was able to test it and demonstrate that it worked fine. Uh, there's a video link to that above uh, if you want to or if you believe that it's your fuel solenoid, how to take it out, how to test it, how to put it back. Um, so there is a video for that now for the LT35 with the Kohler Command Pro 25 horsepower motor. The other thing that I'll mention is that there's an entire kit that you can buy from Kohler um, via Amazon, I believe, or Tractor Supply. There's probably even a Wood Miser um, where you can get a full tune-up kit that includes air filter, fuel filter, oil, spark plugs. So anyway, um, I'm going to buy that because I'd like to have it on hand so I have an extra of all of those. So what did I do next? Next, I basically started to trace the fuel line back to the tank. Where took it off up the carburetor, it felt pretty dry, turned it, no gas coming through, went back down. And again, I kind of had looked at that fuel filter and realized that fuel filter doesn't have any fuel in it. So we took that apart. And um, for lack of other tools, I probably should have used the compressor, but I just blew through it. A couple of hard blows to get it to actually blow all the gas out of it. And that worked, put it back in, cranked it, still nothing. Um, and inside that fuel pump, it's actually the cylinder um, has a piston in there that, that creates the pump and the vacuum. So I basically came to the, the belief that I, I have lost the vacuum to and from the, um, the gas line. So from the gas at the tank, there's an on off switch. I've never turned it off. I believe I'll probably turn it off going forward uh, because I'm thinking maybe while I was moving it, hauling it and storing it, uh, that I might have created a, a sloshing of the gas that maybe let the, um, the, the siphon um, break or whatever. So we took off, uh, the other thing that I, that I had read was that you know, the fuel, the basket filter inside the fuel tank could become clogged. So I took this uh, siphon pump and hooked it up to the tank disconnected the line, hooked up the tank, and just started pumping gas through itself. And that was flowing freely. So I knew that inside the tank was clear now. Down through my line, I actually took the line off and I blew through it. And I was able to get gas all the way up into the fuel filter. And I think some of it blew all the way up into uh, the carburetor because the next time I tried to crank it, we got a little sputter, which was, which was uh, the furthest that I've gotten so far. So the last thing that we did Tried cranking a few more times, still didn't get the fuel to start filling up that fuel filter. Now I'm looking at it and I can see the level. I can see the fuel that I had blown up in there, which would have been bad gas if it was bad gas that was just left in the line. So uh, I sprayed some more starter in there for the final time, sprayed a good you know portion in there, fired it up. It started sputtering, cranking, and I watched the fuel come up into that filter, fill the filter, and start running. Well, I think I, it died. I tried again, tried again, tried again, and I could see fuel coming out of the, um, uh, the carburetor because I had the air filter still off. And so we sprayed one more time into there. We got it to crank, and that was it. And now it runs great, and it sounds like this. So back to kind of the troubleshooting steps and the shortcut from the beginning. Again, I said the spoiler alert. If you don't see fuel in that fuel filter and when you crank it, you don't see it fill up if it's already low, um, you're not getting fuel even past the filter. So um, clear that line. You can just take the clamps off, blow through it, whatever you need to do to get it clear and, uh, or compressor or whatever. And I think that's going to be the key fix. If that doesn't fix it and you can't get it to turn over at all, try the, um, uh, the fuel solenoid. All right, let's wrap this up. A couple of the final things I want to just talk about. I mentioned a couple of things I used. I used this uh, motor, motor Medic liquid fire quick starting fluid. Uh, that's what helped me to get it to turn over. Again, they say not to use a lot of this. Not, you don't use it very often, but, uh, but it helped get us, get us started when we couldn't get it uh, to turn over at all. I've got this uh, pump siphon 
that was key in getting the, uh, the, the tank flushed out and proved that I could get water at least out of the tank. And uh, if I had had an inline um, nipple that I could have put in, I could have used this to pump fluid all the way up into or pumped gas all the way up through the system. But instead, I had to just blow through it. And then, uh, as I mentioned, there is a Kohler Command Pro 25 horsepower um, tune-up kit, which includes the air filter, the oil filter, the gas filter, two spark plugs, and uh, oil, I believe, is what's all in that kit. I've put links for all of those things down below. Hopefully you found this to be helpful and you got your uh, wood miser back up and sounding like this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.